In this video tutorial, we will quickly create our first ORM application. The application will be very, very simple, but it will guide you through the basic steps of application development. Our application will manage customers. It will allow, it will allow users to create, modify and delete customer records. It will display the form of the customer and perform some validation of its fields. It will also display a list of available customer records. Let me show you how easy it is with Aware I Am. So here I have the Aware I Am Configuration Studio, and I'll start by creating a new application, or business space, as it is called in Aware I Am. So I'll go New, and uh, enter the name of the new business space. And now I can see a new business space in the tree on the left. Let's create the customer business object. So I go to the business objects node, right click and then select new. I give the name to the new business object. And now I can add attributes to the object. So we'll start with name. The length will be 60 date of birth, the type will be date, email address, gender, and address. And I will save the changes. Now let's add some validation. First I will make sure that name and date of birth attributes are mandatory. If the user doesn't provide their value, the system will complain. So I select the name attribute and tick the required property and do the same for the date of birth attribute. Now gender attribute, it can only have two choices, male and female. Any other values should not be allowed. So I click on the choices property and specify male and female. Other values are not allowed. And for the email address attribute, I want the system to validate it as, as a proper email. So we'll select validate as email property. Now I can save the changes and our customer object is ready. Let's now prepare a form that will allow users to add new customers and edit the existing ones. I click on the Forms tab and I can see that AwareAIM has already prepared a form for me and I will now make some cosmetic adjustments to this form to make it look nicer. To do this I double click on the form section to bring up the form designer. First of all I'll make the form a little bit smaller. And and I will adjust widths of some controls. I can see now that the label of the email address attribute doesn't quite fit, so we'll make the label, the width of the label column a little bit wider. Like that. And uh, I also like my labels right aligned, so I will select the column by uh, clicking on the column and depressing the shift button and then I change the label position to be right aligned. Now I will change the display of the gender 
attribute from the default drop down to radio buttons to do that i to do that i change the widget to radio buttons and then change the number of columns in the radio for, for the radio buttons to 2 that's it i'm now happy with the form and i can save it Let's now add some simple business logic to our application. Let's say that our system will not allow registering customers younger than 16 years old. To do this, we will add a business rule to the custom object. So I click on the Update Rules tab and add a new rule. Give the name to the rule. And in the rule editor in conditions I specify if age of the customer is less than 16 the action is to report an error And now I can save the rule. So that is done. In order to display a list of customers, I need to create a query. So I select queries, right click, and then select new. I enter the name of the query. And then I see the query editor. In this area here, I need to specify the criteria of search. The object to look for customer is already pre-selected and since this query will retrieve all records of customers I don't need to specify any additional search criteria. We will sort the results by name. And now let's define how the results of the query will be presented to the user. So I click on the display as property and specify which columns will be shown to the user. We'll start with name, followed by the date of birth, then email address, and then the address. I will not show the gender attribute. So in the preview area, I can see how the query will look to the user. I can see that the date of birth column takes up too much space. We, we better make it narrower. So we can do it here. Specify width of the date of birth to be 120 pixels. Now that's better. Now let's define an operation that will allow users to create new records. This will be a panel operation because it will not be applied to any existing record. Let's add a panel operation will be new and the type of the operation will be create object. And the object to create will be customer and we will direct the output to a pop-up window. So this will show a form of the customer object in a pop-up window. And let's display it with the green color and no icon. We can see this new button here. Let's now define operations with records to edit and delete an existing record. So I click on the operation with records property and add the edit operation. This operation will show the form of the existing record and the output will be directed to a pop-up pop -up window. And then the delete operation. The type of the operation will be delete object. So I can see these operations, uh, button for the operations generated next to each record. Finally, we would like the query to be automatically refreshed 
once the new customer is created. So we go to the order refresh property of the query and add the custom object to the list of triggers that cause order refresh of the query. So now the query is ready. The final step is to give the user the ability to start our query from the application menu. This is done in a visual perspective. So I go to the visual perspective called administrator which has been generated automatically by where I am and I will edit the left menu of the application. I will delete some administration commands and add a command to run a query. Give it a name and the type will be run query customers. That's it. Our application is ready. To test it, I put the version under test. And at this point, where I am behind the scenes creates the customer table in the test database. So now it's under test, so I can start the browser by clicking this button here. I log into the application. specifying default credentials, admin and password and tick the testing mode. Now I can see the uh, administrator visual perspective with our menu command to run customers. So I click on it and I can see an empty list because obviously there are no customers yet. So let's create a new customer. I click on the new and we can see our form displayed in a pop-up window. If I forget to enter the date of birth, we can see that the system complains that the date of, date of birth field is required. So we enter the date of birth and if we enter an email in the wrong format again the system will complain. So we have created an, a customer and we can see it the record of this customer in the list. Let's create a new one. So we can now see two customers and we can edit the records of this of the customer by clicking on the edit button or we can delete a customer by clicking on the delete button next to the customer record let's try let's try to create a customer younger than 16 years old We can see that the system complains customers must be older than 16. Our rule obviously is executed here. Let's now make a change to the application and display a list of customers straight away without forcing the user to click on the menu command. 
To do this, I go back to the Configuration tool, right-click on the version, and select Start Editing, so that I can modify the version again. So I go to the Administrator Visual Perspective, and I will put our query into the Content Panel of the main frame. So this frame, this, this content panel will display this query. I save the change and I put the version under test again. And then I can go back to the browser and refresh the screen so that it picks up our changes. And now we can see that the query, the list of customers, is displayed straight away. That's it. We have created a simple application in 15 minutes. You can see how easy it is and where I am.